Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple Pencil with your iPad Mini. Now, this is a sixth generation, and I have a second generation Apple Pencil that I'm going to connect. But you can also follow this step for any iPad, iPad or I, Apple Pencil as long as they're compatible. So, first thing is we need to verify that the Apple Pencil we have is compatible with our iPad. In order to do that, you're going to go to your browser and then search up Apple Pencil compatibility, which will take you to Apple support website that will tell you which iPad are compatible, which Apple Pencil. I have, as you can see here, the second generation, not the USB-C one, but as you can see, this one is compatible with iPad mini sixth generation, Air fourth generation or later, iPad Pro 12.9 inch second generation or later, and the 11 inch old generation. And if you have any other one, just check the compatibility of which iPad can connect. And after you verify that, we're just going to simply open up setting on our iPad and then go to Bluetooth here. And once we go to Bluetooth, now it's time to connect our Apple Pencil with it. You'll see there's a flat side with the Apple Pencil writing. That side is just going to simply have a magnetic strip that will connect to the right hand side of our iPad. When we just put it like that, it will stick on just like that. And that's how it also charges. And it should automatically go ahead and connect if it didn't connect it will come up as a device and you can click on it and start the pairing process and you'll be all set to go and that's all you have to do in order to connect your apple pencil with your ipad simple as that and as you can see it will also show up your charge and for some reason if you don't see it turn off bluetooth and then turn it back on and you'll see it again and then you can click on connect and sometimes you have to do it once or twice but after that you should be all good to go and our Apple Pencil is connected and ready to be used with our iPad. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.